Welcome everyone, today we reveal 10 signs you may have chronic kidney disease. This isn't just another health video, it's an exploration into the subtleties of your own body, an investigation of the often overlooked signs that our kidneys, those silent workhorses of our system, might be in distress. Did you know that over 37 million American adults are living with kidney disease, many unknowingly? This is largely due to the fact that symptoms often don't manifest until the later stages. That's why understanding these early signs is so crucial. It's time to uncover these signs. Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Starting off with the first sign, changes in your urination pattern. Now this might not sound like a big deal but it could potentially be a warning sign of chronic kidney disease. Kidneys play a crucial role in filtering out waste from your body through urination. So when these vital organs aren't working optimally, it can reflect in your urination pattern. You might notice changes in the frequency of urination, maybe you're going more often, or less. The color could change too, becoming darker or lighter than usual. You might also experience discomfort during urination or notice a foamy texture. These changes are your body's way of signaling that something might be off with your kidneys. And it's not just us saying this. Multiple scientific studies like those published in the American Journal of Kidney Diseases and the Clinical Journal of the American Society of Nephrology affirm that changes in urination are indeed potential indicators of kidney disease. Remember, any noticeable change in your usual urination pattern warrants a visit to the doctor. Moving to the second sign, unexpected swelling in parts of your body. Now this might seem unrelated, but let's dive a little deeper. Your kidneys, among other things, are responsible for removing extra fluid from your body. When they're not functioning as they should, this excess fluid can build up leading to swelling. This puffiness can manifest in various parts of your body, including your legs, ankles, hands, face, or even around your eyes. Now you might be wondering, how sure are we about this? Well, several scientific studies have drawn a link between chronic kidney disease and fluid retention. A research article published in the Clinical Journal of the American Society of Nephrology, for instance, found that fluid overload is common in patients with chronic kidney disease and can contribute to swelling. So don't ignore that unexplained swelling, it could be your kidneys sending out an SOS. Next up, the third sign, constant fatigue and weakness. To understand this you need to know that our kidneys do more than just filtering waste. They also produce a hormone called erythropoietin, or EPO, which stimulates the production of red blood cells. These cells are essential for carrying oxygen throughout our bodies, fueling our muscles, and keeping our brains sharp. Now when someone has chronic kidney disease, the kidneys can't make enough EPO. The result? A shortage of red blood cells, a condition known as anemia. And this anemia can leave you feeling constantly tired and weak, no matter how much rest you get. This point is backed by numerous scientific studies, including those published in reputable journals like the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology. So that constant fatigue you've been shrugging off as just part of life. It's not as normal as you might think. It could be your body's way of telling you that your kidneys aren't functioning as they should. A persistent feeling of fatigue and weakness is not normal. It could be an indication of kidney trouble. On to the fourth sign, skin rashes and itching. Now you may wonder how can something as common as a rash be linked to kidney disease? Well, our kidneys play a crucial role in eliminating waste from our bodies. When they're not functioning as they should, these wastes can accumulate, leading to a host of issues including skin rashes and itching. This isn't your typical rash though. It's often severe, persistent, and can occur anywhere on the body. It's also accompanied by a strong urge to scratch, which, unfortunately, doesn't provide much relief. Scientific studies have shown that this is due to the high levels of phosphorus that remain in the body when the kidneys are unable to filter it out. This phosphorus can react with the skin, causing the severe itching and rash we mentioned earlier. So the next time you find yourself scratching a persistent itch or dealing with a persistent rash, it might not just be an allergy or skin sensitivity. It could be a sign that your kidneys are not effectively removing waste from your body. Persistent skin issues could be more than just allergies. It could be your kidneys crying out for help. The fifth sign to watch out for, unexplained nausea and vomiting. Now you might be wondering what do kidneys have to do with feeling nauseous or throwing up? Well, when your kidneys aren't operating at full capacity, waste can start to build up in your body. This accumulation of waste can trigger sensations of nausea or even lead to episodes of vomiting. This is because your body is trying to expel these excess toxins in any way it can, and sometimes, that means through the stomach. 
Studies including those by the National Kidney Foundation have backed this up, pointing to nausea and vomiting as common symptoms of chronic kidney disease. It's important to remember though, that these symptoms can be associated with many conditions, not just kidney disease. If you're frequently feeling nauseous or vomiting without a clear cause, it's time to consult a doctor. The sixth sign, shortness of breath. Now you might be wondering what on earth does kidney disease have to do with breathing? The answer lies in the kidney's role in maintaining the balance of fluids in our bodies. When the kidneys aren't functioning optimally, excess fluid can build up in the body, and this can sometimes accumulate in the lungs. This fluid buildup can make it difficult for you to breathe normally, leading to a feeling of breathlessness or shortness of breath. Scientific research supports this connection. Studies have shown that patients with chronic kidney disease often experience respiratory symptoms like shortness of breath due to fluid overload in the lungs. This is more than just feeling winded after a long run or a strenuous workout. It's a persistent sensation that may become more pronounced with physical activity, but can be present even when you're at rest. So if you're finding yourself frequently short of breath, it's important not to dismiss it as simply a sign of aging or lack of fitness. It could be a sign of an underlying condition like kidney disease. Trouble catching your breath could be a sign of more than just being out of shape, it might be your kidneys. The seventh sign is an unusual one, a metallic taste in your mouth. Now you might be wondering, what does my sense of taste have to do with my kidneys? Well, it's all connected. Chronic kidney disease can cause a buildup of waste products in your blood. This accumulation can lead to a variety of symptoms, one of which is a metallic taste in the mouth. According to a study published in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology, over 25% of patients with chronic kidney disease reported experiencing this symptom. It's not your imagination, and it's certainly not your cooking. It's your body's way of telling you something's off. This metallic taste can also make certain foods, especially meats, unappetizing. If you're suddenly finding your favorite steak tastes more like a handful of pennies, it might be time to see a doctor. So, remember this. If your food starts tasting like coins, it might not be a new recipe, it could be your kidneys. The eighth sign, poor concentration and dizziness. So how are your kidneys linked to your brain's performance? It's not as complex as you might think. When your kidneys are not functioning well, they can't produce enough erythropoietin, a hormone that stimulates the production of oxygen-carrying red blood cells. As a result, your body and brain may not get the oxygen they need to function properly. This lack of oxygen can lead to poor concentration and even dizziness. Scientific studies have backed this up showing a clear correlation between kidney disease and cognitive impairment. Brain fog, difficulty focusing and dizzy spells may be more than just stress or fatigue. They could be signs that your kidneys are struggling. So the next time you're feeling a bit off, don't just write it off as having a bad day. Listen to your body. Feeling dizzy or having trouble concentrating, it's not necessarily stress, it could be kidney disease. The ninth sign, feeling cold even when it's warm. It's a peculiar sensation, isn't it? But did you know this could be a sign of chronic kidney disease? Let's break it down. Our kidneys play a crucial role in producing a hormone called erythropoietin. This hormone helps in the production of red blood cells, which carry oxygen throughout our body. When the kidneys aren't functioning properly, they may not produce enough erythropoietin, leading to a decrease in red blood cells, a condition known as anemia. Anemia can cause a cold sensation in the body because fewer red blood cells mean less oxygen is being delivered to your body tissues. It's like turning down the thermostat in your body. Your cells aren't getting the warmth they need, making you feel cold even in a warm environment. This isn't just a casual observation. Scientific studies like those published by the National Kidney Foundation have found a strong correlation between chronic kidney disease, anemia, and cold sensitivity. If you're constantly reaching for a sweater even when it's warm, it might be time to check your kidneys. Finally, the tenth sign, back or side pain. Now you might be thinking, isn't that just a sign of a bad posture or a strenuous workout? That's not always the case. Chronic kidney disease can cause pain in the back or side. When kidneys are not functioning properly, they can cause discomfort, usually located under the rib cage or the lower back. This happens because kidneys are located in this area. When they're inflamed or enlarged due to disease, they can cause pain that often gets mistaken for other common conditions. Several scientific studies, such as those published in the Journal of Pain Research, have validated this claim, highlighting how back or side pain can be an early warning sign of kidney disease. So remember, persistent back or side pain isn't always just a pulled muscle, it could be a sign of kidney disease. And there you have it. 
10 signs that might indicate chronic kidney disease. From changes in urination to unexplained back pain, these symptoms can often go unnoticed until the disease has progressed significantly. Remember, over 37 million American adults are living with kidney disease, many without even knowing it. This is why regular checkups are so crucial, especially if you're at risk due to factors like high blood pressure, diabetes, or a family history of kidney disease. If you notice any of these signs, don't hesitate to consult with your doctor. Early detection can make a world of difference in managing this condition, and the first step starts with you being aware and proactive about your health. Knowledge is power, and by understanding these signs you're already taking a significant step towards safeguarding your health. If you found this information useful, please leave a comment below. And before you go thank you so much for watching our video and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to watch out for the 7 signs of type 2 diabetes, watch the video on your screen next. Finally, remember to use our calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. It can be your companion and accountability partner on your journey to better health. And remember, your health is in your hands.